Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Christina L. Lobato, and I am back on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I've been focusing on TikTok and Reels, and also just like, you know, life has been lifing. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Christina L. Lobato. I'm a Broadway television and film actor, and I've done a ton of musicals in my career. And when you do a musical, you get a bunch of swag from the shows. I am summer cleaning my apartment, and I have collected all of the things, Spring Awakening, American Idiot, Mean Girls, all of those out-of-town tryouts and shows that you don't even maybe even know about. They're all kind of in these little boxes and in other places in my apartment. And because I'm going through everything, I figured I'd share with you and open them all together and reminisce and tell you all these stories about my shows. And I have no idea what's in any of these or what shows they're from. So let's do it together. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the series of me going through all of my Broadway show swag slash regional theater swag slash theater swag over the last 15 years of my career. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start video one with this one. This was actually, I got these gifts for, I did the Kiss My Aztec Out of Town tryout. It's a show that takes place in Mexico in the 1600s. It's a John Leguizamo musical. Hopefully it will be on Broadway at some point in the world or in New York. But I got everybody these cacahuate candies. If you're Mexican, you've probably eaten these. They crumble when you eat them. It is so annoying, but they're somehow really, really tasty. I grew up eating these and they are very Mexican to me. It's like what my Nana gave me all the time. I don't have any in there, but I just thought it was kind of a cute box. So let's start with this box. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, fun. Oh, this is a grab bag, y'all. This is like, who knows what's in here? Okay, let's start with these. So I have my three Spring Awakening bracelets. So I did the Spring Awakening national tour, the equity tour, the first national tour right off of Broadway in 2008. That was how I got my start. I was 18 and um, I was so excited. So these are some bracelets at the time these were very popular if you remember so this says essay original tour cast 2008 to 2009 and spring awakening oh spring awakening was such a time y'all it like changed my life fully like fully fully oh that's like such good memories oh this is cute this is um a button of me in my swing costume so in spring awakening in the original production there were three swings in the show the original tour cast it was me julie banco and claire sparks who is our dear friend and the three of us each were a swing which meant we covered all of the girls in spring awakening and we did our ensemble tracks on stage when we went on for marta Teara anna we had our own like ensemble principal dress for those three characters. And so mine was green. It was really, really cute. It was Erin Merwin's dress. If you follow the original Broadway production, it was the green dress of hers. And so someone made me a button of me in my green dress. And then if we went on for Ilsa or Venla, we had our full Venla and Ilsa costumes, but that's a really special button. I'm gonna keep that forever. Speaking of buttons, here's a couple more. I guess this is like a button pack. Oh, this is fun. So here's a, a Spring Awakening Amundsen Theater button. Totally fucked. We sat in LA, in Los Angeles at the Amundsen for quite a long time. That was really, really special. We met a ton of celebrities at the time. And we also used to hang out with the high school musical cast because at the time in 2008, we were like the cool musical kid cast. And every time we'd roll into a big city, the other cool like kids people that were like doing, you know, entertainment would like always reach out to us and be like, let's hang out. And so we hung out with the high school musical cast in LA a lot, which was really fun. The movie, not the series, but the movie, um, which was really fun. Oh, here's a button of me as Gretch. See, this is like random. This is why this is so fun. Just all my shows. Um, I loved playing Gretchen. It was so fun and so different from anything I've ever done. Speaking of ever, as from different than anything I've ever done, this is a button from American Idiot. It's John Gallagher, Billy Joe, and Michael Esper. I did the show with Billy Joe at the end of his run, and then he came back and finished it out. I had my first Broadway debut moment with Billy Joe and with John Gallagher playing their roles, and then they left, and then Billy Joe came back for this final six weeks on Broadway. Dorcia, okay, trivia. This is from American Psycho, another musical I did on Broadway, and this was an opening night gift from someone and Dorcia is the uh, restaurant that they eat at all the time. So I have these fun matches from Dorcia for American uh, American Psycho. Did all the American uh, things. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. This video's gonna be so long. Ooh, we have some Evita swag. I did the first national tour of Evita. Um, well, the first national tour of the revival, not the first national tour. That would be a long time ago, but in 2000, I think. 11 or 10, but um, I've got an Evita magnet from that production and a keychain with a little mirror on the back, which is cool. I played the mistress, so I sang another suitcase in another hall. Oh my God, it's so fun to go through all of this, y'all. There's so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to Mean Girls a little bit. We used to have this Polaroid that we would take all these photos of, and so here's some cute Polaroids. Here's one of me and Kate. Kate Rockwell played my Karen and I was Gretchen and we shared a dressing room. We had so much fun. Um, and here's one of me and Kaylin, Fu and Kate when Kaylin went on for Regina. So we were always like, we had so many Polaroids. I'm sure there's more in there, but that's a really good memory. 
Spring Awakening, um, this was my Amundsen Pass. It's funny the things I kept. Like, do I keep all of this? I mean, it's so funny. Over the years, I get rid of stuff every year. Like, oh, I don't need this anymore. Or, oh, I don't need all of these things. Um, here's my Evita uh, luggage tag. Actually, I have a couple of those in here. When you go on tour, one of like the gifts that you get sometimes are little tags. I also went on the American Idiot Tour, so I have my tags here. Of my three tours, I have my Evita tag. I have my American Idiot tag. And I have my Spring Awakening tag, but it broke, so I only have one half. It just says spring. Uh, but those are really good memories. You know, it's so fun. And it's, it's an easy way for us to, like, um, find our luggage in the airport also because we all have the same tags. Also, the shows I did on tour were all red-themed. Interesting. Fascinating. So that's really fun that I have those still. Let's see. This Yale – this is my Yale University Visitor Pass. I look like a freaking baby. School of Drama. I don't know why I have this. There is a reason. I think it has to do with American Idiot because my hair is blonde. In American Idiot, they bleached my bangs. So I always know that that was the time because I have a ble bleached bang, but why would I have had this? 2011. I'm gonna have to think about this one and get back to you, but I don't know why I have this Yale University Visitor Pass. We must have gone through that city, I guess. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> This is, okay, so I am doing this show called Kiss My Aztec, like I told you, and um, so Kiss My Aztec was, is an out-of-town tryout. It's a new musical written by John Leguizamo. It's a farce set in the 1500s in Aztec, Mexico, as the Spaniards are conquering Mexico. It is a farce. It's all Latino people. It's so special. I wanted to come to New York so bad. It's such a weird time for theater, but we're trying so hard to get it to New York, and um, I feel and believe that not only is it a show that represents a ton of underrepresented people, um, but it's a ton of underrepresented people represented people that get to do something that they never get to do, which is a farce and comedy like this. Um, it's so special to me. Me and Joelle Perez um, lead that show. And one of the songs, or one of the funny things about the show is that John wrote it in both like modern, like slang language and also in like Elizabethan, I suppose you could say. So um, this is from the music team, Kiss My Aztec 2022, when we went to Hartford stage to out of town it. And it says, don't fuck it up. <laughs> from the music theme. It is something that uh, a character says in the show. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> this is from The Mad Ones. Remember this! If you haven't listened to The Mad Ones, it's an off-Broadway show I did um, that was really special. I played a character. Her name was Samantha Brown. And uh, yeah, this is a really special um, song. It's my favorite song in the show, actually. People always ask me what my favorite song was, and it was always Remember This. But uh, someone made me this sticker. Remember this. I love that. See, it's all my shows. It's like so like random, all of this stuff, y'all. Oh, this was my Evita Pass. Christina, Mistress Ensemble. Um, look at my little baby headshot. <laughs> who is she? Who is she? I don't know who she is. Ooh, more Polaroids. Okay, these are Mean Girls Polaroids. So fun. Here's a cute one of me and Erica and Renee and Kate. We just used to snap them. We just thought it was so much fun. We loved we loved and love each other so much. It was like the best cast ever. Here's a good one of Jen Samard. <laughs> oh my God, she's so cute. Oh, these are so cute, you guys. Oh, oh here's my birthday. A Polaroid for my birthday, me and Kate. We used to like write dates if they were important. Also, if we ever popped champagne, we would write them if they were important. Oh, here's us and Renee. Oh, Renee just... She was amazing then, and she's freaking taking the world by storm, which I could not be happier about. Devin, me and Devin Hadsel when she went on for Karen. Erica is sitting at her station. <laughs> it's so funny that Erica and I like have all of these experiences now together with Hasbin when we were, you know, with each other all the time with them. Oh, here's a Spring Awakening tag. This one's complete. I love that. So I do have my Spring Awakening luggage tag. Let's see what else. Oh, this is oh, this is really cool actually. So April fourth, two thousand eight. This is my Spring Awakening ticket when I saw it on Broadway at the Eugene O'Neill. This is a whole other video for me to say, but I, we had to fly, you know, we came to New York for our final callbacks for the tour. I was from Arizona. I did not live here. I came with my mom and they had us see the show one night, all of us, everyone that was in finals, they brought all of us to see the show together before our final callbacks. I actually sat by Perry Sherman, who I ended up doing the show with and is still my friend that night. But before that, when I got to the city, I was like, mom, I have to see it again. So I, I rushed, I sat outside, you know, at six in the morning and waited because I wanted to rush the show so I could see it a second time. And this is my ticket from when I rushed it right before my final callback. Um, so that's really special that I still have this ticket. See, I mean, it is nice to keep some stuff. Again, I have such a small apartment. I can't really keep things, but like it is nice to have these memories. And like, I don't have that much stuff, right? This is my Spring Awakening like company member badge. Oh, this is cool. This was another 
This was like a gift, I think an opening night gift for Evita. The back says another suitcase in another hall and this was another luggage tag for, uh, for our travels. This was from Scenery Bags. I'm sure you all know this amazing company, Scenery Bags, but they took these tarps from, like there were all these tarps of our show that were hanging in um, New York City. You probably saw them. It was me, Renee, and Erica in the plastics moment. And so she took those tarps and she made these really cool keychains and she sent one to me and it's really, really cool. So I will keep that forever. Really special. Oh, and here's, oh, she sent me two because this one is me and my hair is on it because I was on these. It was the first time, that was a pretty magical moment for me as an actor. It was the first time I was in a campaign for a show that was all over the city. I had seen other actors experience that and I was like, God, it must be so cool to like see yourself on a bus or to see yourself on a banner. And we had this amazing campaign for Mean Girls where we were everywhere and I was like this is crazy and such a like dream come true pinch me moment um so this is my hair and a little bit of my face the scenery bags made into a keychain so thank you Jen <laughs> go check out scenery bags if you don't know them they basically repurpose show things like tarps or like drapes or sets and they make jewelry and bags out of them it's truly amazing spring making keychain from the original show Again, what's cool is that Spring Awakening has had so many lives. So many of you have done it at school after, but it was really cool to be a part of it when it was first starting, to do that first tour. It was really special. I have endless great memories from that time. The bitch of living. It's the bitch of living. And to be an 18-year-old doing that show like, and having that be my first show, just life-changing, totally life-changing. Um, ooh, a little American Psycho swag. This was our um, squibs card or squibs like painting that he did for our opening night we opened in 2016 um and a bunch of characters are featured on there we each got one so that's special i didn't even know i still have that see this is so fun american psycho oh this must have been our closing night maybe at the schoenfeld a ticket i assume bob my husband came and saw it so american psycho ticket i miss these like real tickets that's why i kind of love that i have a few of them because we don't you guys don't get these anymore right like we don't do that when we go Oh, here's a picture of my cousin. So don't know why that's in there, but she's looking cute. Uh, let's see, what else? I want to know, Spring Awakening. I don't think that was a logo, but that must have been some random like theater that made like a cool thing for the show. Oh, this is cool. This, so remember when I told you about my green dress in this button? So when we would go on, we also would have matching ribbons for when we played Marta on Artea, especially Marta, because Marta, your braid is coming loose. Um, you know, it's a thing in the show. But we each had different ribbons, and this is one of mine. I lost the other one, but this is really cute and special. It's green with little, like, polka dots on it. Really cute. Um, I think that's it in here, another Mean Girls sticker. But I hope you enjoyed this series of, like, some of my fun show paraphernalia. Um, I'm going to keep it going because I have other boxes and things full of other show swag from other shows. So um, stick around. Part two will be coming out very, very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked this, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and pass this video around to your friends that love Broadway. I talk a lot about Broadway on here, about voiceover, husband hotel, and all of the things that I am doing in my actor life. So come hang out with me. Thank you so much, y'all. And I'll see you on the next one.